Good day, Monticello High School students. I am your host, your mother, your sister, and or your brother, Mason, your face, Anderson. And I am Addie the Killer Miller. We hope that our special edition of Student News brings you some cheer as we continue to learn from home. It's been a minute since we've had some news for y'all. Sorry about the wait. I bet you can understand that it's a little tricky to do it from home, but I mean we're all here, and that's what matters. And let's get down to business. As you are aware, the holiday season is upon us, and although that brings happiness for many, 2020 has been a difficult year. Your home might be feeling like a prison, and the holidays can be overwhelming. That is correct. The MHS counselors, Mr. Miller, Ms. Ochoa, and Ms. Lockroom, want you <laughs> to think about your mental health and work on staying positive. If you're struggling, we strongly recommend that you reach out for help from a trusted adult or friend. And now, here's a word from our actual counselors. Hi, I'm Ms. Lockram, and I'm one of the three school counselors here at the high school. We are offering office hours every Tuesday and Thursday from 10.30 to 11.30. This is a chance for students to jump on our Google Meets and ask us questions about colleges, careers, academics, schedule, study skills, mental health, resources in the area, the list could go on. Please feel free to jump on, and even if you just want to say hi because you miss us, we would greatly appreciate it. In addition, you can also schedule an appointment through our online scheduling system. The links are posted on Schoology, and they are also posted on our website. So remember, office hours, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10.30 to 11.30. See you then. Uh, the high school will be open for internet use on Mondays and Wednesdays from 2 to 4 p.m. Students can come in to use the internet, hand in assignments, but there will be no teachers available. 50 students max. Don't forget to bring your own Chromebook if you are interested. And me and Mason hope to see you there. We hope to see you there for internet use. <laughs> Reminder to all students, you should use your school email to access your daily classroom Google Meets. Teachers will deny entry to creepers from outside the district. Amen. And uh, Schoology Messenger is in fact gone, if you haven't noticed. So try using your Gmail and respond to all those emails you've been getting from your teachers about your missing assignments. That if you have any. <laughs> Here's some clips to watch. Enjoy. 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 Here's some clips to watch. Some clips to watch. Enjoy. Thank you guys for participating in my big buck challenge. Colton Jermu is our winner with a good 12 point buck. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody else that participated. Um, I had amazing submissions and I hope everybody has a really good holiday weekend. Welcome to Jared and Mason's Holiday Movie Review. Welcome to Mason Jared's Holiday Jared and Mason's. <laughs> Welcome to Mason Jared's Holiday Movie Review. Today we'll be ranking our top five holiday movies from worst to best. Coming at number five, Die Hard. It ain't Christmas unless if you watch Die Hard. Coming in at number four is Home Alone. Watch it every year, and it still amazes me how the two robbers don't die. Coming in at number three is The... 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 The, the Grinch! <laughs> Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? Yeah, I actually am. Funny thing is, coming in at number two... White Christmas. White Christmas. <laughs> With it starting to get a little bit nippy, I mean nippy outside, it's always good to watch. What's coming in at number one? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Thanks for watching Jared and Mason's holiday movie review. Happy holidays. Doodles. Hey guys, welcome to this new segment that we're doing. It's just a one-time thing. It's not like gonna be consistent. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys some different recipes for winter themed cookies. But the first cookie we're gonna be doing is just a simple cutout sugar cookie. We're gonna need a bowl, a medium-sized bowl. This is about pretty good size. Um, a spatula like this, a whisk, 
So the first thing you're gonna need is flour, sugar, that's salt, that is salt, and baking powder. And for those three things, you're gonna need some measuring cups, some teaspoons, teaspoons and tablespoons, and let's get cooking. Baking. Oh my God. Okay, so first we need two and a fourth cups of flour. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna just level off, take your knife and just level off the flour. So you don't have too much. So there's one cup and you need a two and a fourth cup of flour. All right, after your flour, you're gonna take half a teaspoon of your baking powder and then you need a fourth teaspoon of salt. And you just wanna whisk this together to make sure that it's fully incorporated. We're gonna set this aside. We're gonna need another bowl. All right, so we're gonna need a second bowl for our second batch. And you're gonna mix your butter and your sugar together. You need three fourths cup, so a full stick and a half. And then we're going to need a three fourths cup sugar, granulated, not powdered sugar. Get mixing and add one large egg to our mixture. So we're gonna add two teaspoons pure vanilla extract. So we're gonna add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. So after you add the flour, your dough should be pretty soft. If it still seems a little bit too sticky to you for using a rolling pin on it, I would suggest adding some more flour until it seems like it's not gonna stick to your rolling pin. All right, and then after this, we're gonna roll these out right away. And then after we roll them out to the desired lengths, we will start cutting. Right now, before I roll them out, I'm gonna set my oven to 350 so I can cook these babies right away. So as you guys can see, I have, um, some flour on my area where I'm gonna be rolling out my cookie dough, which is in my hand right now. And then I also have a baking sheet because we're gonna have to let these cool for an hour after we roll them out before we start cutting into them. So otherwise the shapes aren't gonna stay and we don't want that to happen because that's gonna suck. And I'm gonna take this and just, just start rolling her out. All right, so after you roll out your cookies to like feeling like they are what you want them to be, you're going to Put them on a baking sheet. You're gonna roll out the rest of your dough, like stack that up between pieces of parchment paper and put it in the fridge. You're gonna let it hard it for an hour to two hours. So now we're gonna be starting on our second cookie. We're just gonna be making some white chocolate chip cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed that little baking montage. So now you're gonna get an ungreased cookie sheet and you're gonna spoon them on to the baking sheet, like an inch or so apart, something like that. So now I'm gonna bake those cookies at 350 for eight to 10 minutes. And while those are baking, I'm gonna go grab my sugar cookies, cut them out and then bake those at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. All right, so all the cookies are done baking, so now I'm gonna be bringing them over to Robin and Ethan, and we'll see what they think. Thanks, Sam, for those cookies. Uh, you know, it's me, Robin, with- Ethan. And we are now gonna be judging these cookies. So we got two kinds of cookies here. The white chocolate chip, and then the classic cookies that you would give to good old Saint Nick. All right, we're gonna be judging these cookies off of two categories. The first be like the appearance, mm -hmm. how like appetizing they look. All right. And then the second is gonna be how they taste. So, first, I think the appearance of the white chocolate chip is pretty snazzy. What would you yeah. rate this? Yeah, and by the appearance too, it is, it's perfectly cooked as well. There's mm -hmm. no, nothing burnt about it. It looks very good. I give it a solid. 9.5 out of 10 just because it doesn't have any frosting on it. I would agree with you. And then these ones, I'm gonna pick up this guy. These I'd give a solid 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. I mean, look at this got a little nice smiley face on it. Mm -hmm. and you can tell she put a lot of effort into these cookies, making them look very beautiful. They look very snazzy. All right, ready to taste them? Yes. Okay. White chocolate chips. 
They are really good. Yeah, they are. They're really soft. Have great flavor. Oh, mm -hmm. These are popping off. For taste, I would definitely have to give this a high nine. 9.7. Mm. It's very good. The only way to make it a 10 out of 10 is if they were warm. Other than that, this is perfect, Sam. Mm-hmm. Next, we got the Santa cookies. It's like... Mmm, these are good too. Mm-hmm. Okay. The frosting is really good. Immaculate. That's exquisite. That's exactly so how I would put it. So good. Mm-hmm. 15 out of 10. 20 out of 10. 21 out of 10. Trying these. Mm-hmm. 100%. Thanks, Sam, for the cookies. Um, and we'll see you later. Good morning, Monticello. Welcome to another episode of News of the Weird. Today, we are out. It's really cold. And I want to talk. Have you guys heard of monoliths before? Because a strange looking monolith was spotted in Utah. And then it disappeared. And then one appeared in Romania. And then that one got stolen. And they've been sighted in other places as well. It's kind of a mess. Anyways, in Israel, the Israeli Prime Minister! Actually, not the Prime Minister. Sorry, I'm wrong. Fake news. This guy, apparently he says he's a part of the Israeli Space Force. Didn't even know that he, they exist at all. Says, the Galactic Federation! I told you, they're real guys. Trust me, okay? They actually think humanity is incredible. I wonder if that's why they're putting those monoliths in place. But, here's the thing. They said Trump was about to leak a bunch of things about the Galactic Federation. Whew. Well, that guy better snort another line real quick, otherwise he's gonna get popped up. Anyways, Monticello, stay weird. As we close, we want you to take just a moment to remember those less fortunate this holiday season. Yeah, don't just waltz past the Salvation Army bell ringer. Drop, Drop a, a dollar, dollar in the, the bucket. bucket. Thanks for watching. And <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of my Me and mind. Mason, um, we actually wish you a happy new year. Yeah. 2021 is the year of good things, and we love you guys. And, um, and yeah, what she said. <laughs>